Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to repair corrupted Microsoft Excel files. So we have some sample files here that are corrupt, so let's see what happens when we try and open them. So let's say we got this one for example here. It says file format or extension is not valid. Click OK, and then we have nothing. And then we have this one here. The file format and extension don't match. File could be corrupted or unsafe. Let's say yes to open it anyways. Then you can see we got a bunch of gibberish here mixed in with our data. Okay, so what we're going to use to fix these is a program called Stellar Repair for Excel. So all you have to do is download and install it and run it. And then you just need to browse to your file. So we'll go ahead and pick the first one here from the desktop. All right, so once we have it loaded here, just click on Repair, and it'll run on the scan. And then we'll go through its repair process. You can see down here the progress. And then what this program will do too is once it repairs the file, it'll show you a preview so you can see what it's going to look like, and you'll get a little message here saying uh, it's going to just show you the information without cell formatting and without graphs. It's just like a simple preview. So we'll click OK. All right, so now we have our recovered file here. So all we have to do now is click on Save File. And then you could save it in the same folder where you opened it from or pick a new folder. We'll just put it in the same folder. Now we have the save process going here. All right, repaired file saved successfully. We could open containing folder. So here's our original file here, and then here's our repaired one, so it just puts the word repaired in front of it. So let's open up that one. Okay, so here's our repaired file. It looks similar to the preview. All right, so let's try another one here. We'll try this GUI checklist. So once again, select File. Repair. And by the way, you can also use the Find button to do a search for files if you're unaware of the path where the file is located. Okay, so here's our preview. So it has three sheets with only data in sheet one there. Okay, so over here in the top left, we have our repaired files list, or the ones we've worked on here, and the path. So you can check whichever ones you want to save. So I've already saved the other ones, so we'll just... Keep this box checked here and save this new file in the default location. Okay, open containing folder. All right, so here's our repaired GUI file here. So let's open that up. Okay, so everything looks good. And we have those other extra blank sheets there, which is fine. All right, so you can see the program does a good job of repairing these files. And so let's go to the website and check out what else it does here. So it works for files with invalid extensions, uh, data corruption, unreadable content. It'll repair large size files, uh, resolves corruption errors, it allows you to preview, which we saw, recovers Excel file objects. And we have some reviews down here. And then some other options, some screenshots and other videos. And then we have the pricing. So the free version will let you open the corrupted files and do a repair on them, but it will not let you save them. So if you want to save them, you're going to have to buy the program and get a key for it. So the single use is only $39 right now. So that's a pretty good deal if, if you need to uh, repair some files. So even if you have one uh, corrupted file that has some important data, $39 is not a lot of money to get that data back. So definitely worth it there. And then if you want the repair toolkit where you want to do Excel, Word, PowerPoint, PDF, only $69, so it's uh, normally $189. And then the file repair toolkit for technicians, it gives you the same options as this one, just for uh, three computers. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download the demo version. Then you could try it out and see if it'll uh, do a repair on your file. And if so, and you want to save your file, just simply uh, buy the program, enter the key, and then you'll be able to... Uh, save your recovered file. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.